back to land time. We want to clue everybody in on a new offering here at land time this year. Uh, sport nose work. You might ask, what is nose work? Well, most of you already know we train a lot of police dogs and detection dogs here at land time, professional dogs to find narcotics, explosives, uh, even bed bug dogs. Tick does a lot of that and uh, pipeline leak detection, termites, basically you name it. If there is a professional need for the odor to be found, we do it here at land time. But what we're going to start offering is the sport of nose work. It's open to all civilians with any civilian pet. And we teach your dog to find a variety of essential oil odors, birch, clove, ass, and cypress. Then once you learn to detect these odors, much the same way that we train a professional detection dog, you're able to compete in a variety of organizations, including we plan to have some competitions here at Lion Time. So this continues on for the people that, that we, we get a fair number of people. You run out of uh, classes to do once you're out of our advanced class. You've already been interest, introduced into clicker training, and that's how this nose work goes. It's a never ending supply of dopamine for your dog. It's a relationship builder. And as you go through the four levels of difficulty, you can literally spend years perfecting this and doing a productive relationship builder with your dog. Yeah, so the video that we're showing here is of a young police dog prospect, Katie. He has just started a about a week and a half ago on odor detection. And he's come quite a way, as you can see how he, he goes away from me to perform his uh, job. He locates the odor, he gives an indication of a down. This was shaped in with markers. I mark him, you can see me marking him, I'm marking him with a clicker. He returns to me or to my location approximately and he gets a food reward. At some point we'll replace this food reward with probably a ball or a tug. So, uh, nose work one here at land time. It's gonna consist of, uh, week one will be a talk a lot about operant conditioning, markers, and how to condition your dog to a marker. We'll do some targeting, uh, some things that we do already do in the advanced class where your dog's gonna touch a target stick with its nose. The dog's gonna target to a place mat. And when we have appropriate speed and fluency with that, we're gonna move right to an odor tube where your dog's gonna target an odor tube. Throughout nose work one, we're gonna learn the odor of birch, and we'll be learning to simply search our paraphernalia that you see here in the video with Cade, these PVC tubes. This, this, uh, each week you'll have homework to do when you go home, and it'll all be about marking your dog's indication in odor, uh, odor pays, and we're gonna culminate in week six in a competition where we'll have 20 containers, two rows of 10 containers in the arena here at Land Time, and you'll, you'll run your first competition in week six. So now we're gonna let Kip talk a little bit about nose work here at Land Time. If you take this nose work one class, we're gonna teach you just as we teach our police dogs and other professional dogs how to do this, but only as a competitive sport. At the end, as we as a tradition here for three years, there'll always be a contest. On time, first dog to find the correct odor and the correct tube out of 20 tubes, two rows of 10. And there'll be trophies and ribbons for that. And then about once a month, there'll be a contest that you can come into and compete. Yeah, we hope to continue on. And those work two, three, four, or whatever you can imagine here, where we will increase the difficulty, the number of odors, uh, the different uh, venues that you search in. Uh, they call them elements in most of the sport work world. The first element that you're learning in nose work one would be containers. That's what these PV2, PVC tubes would be called, containers. We would have interiors, which would be interior rooms, exteriors, outside, potentially vehicles. Uh, you could do buried hides and underwater hides. And as always, it's all about building a better relationship between you and your dog through this reward-based training. You'll never know your dog like you'll know him after you're doing some forms of detection work. It's, it's just a great relationship builder. All right, we hope to see you all soon in Nose Work 1.